All right. Yeah. What's up, everyone? Here we are. Another beautiful day in paradise. Hope, hope everyone's doing great today, because we are. We're blessed out here. What are you saying? How blessed are you? So blessed that I just tried to use the car key for the door. <laughs> I just woke up. But yeah, we are working on the house. My dad's over here helping me out and my mom. And we're about to go get some insulation for underneath the crawl space at Home Depot. And then do a little work. Well, 22 by 14, so 20 by 16, 160, no, 20, wait, what? You don't know. You want to measure 22. It you want to measure it again? No. Fucking retard. 22 by 34. No. So. 22 by 34 is 20 by 36, 720 square feet, not including that room, the garage, and the laundry room. This house is over a thousand feet. Square feet? Yeah. Not. Thing now. All right, we're we're at Home Depot, Poppy's favorite store. Do you ever come here just to browse, Dad? Yeah. <laughs> this guy's a professional god. Why? We don't know why. No, why do you have to film everything, dude? Look at your hair. It's fucking gay, I get it. But I'm not allowed to cut it. Yeah, it's vain. Uh, like, like, cut my hair. It's vain. Like, mom has this, like, problem with her dad. And, like, guys with long hair, like, somehow the, there's these conflicts. So, like, I have to have this hair. That's what gets me. Wait, well, my dad doesn't join. Yeah, is this for 16? They're 24. You can use an R21 at the little denser. So you should have an enrollist too. Is it you need it first? They're 16, yeah. They're 16? Yeah. Okay, so we need that. And then we got we got in uh, rolls too. <clears throat> That's probably pretty good. Because it got it's gonna have to go under the whole house. It's 39 feet. 39 feet if it's okay. Well yeah. He's always running. He's always doing the material runs anyway on the job. <laughs> Him and Greg, the snow guy, eat watermelon. Eat, eat watermelon. This is going to be 12, right? Wait, how many do you have on there? 12, I think. No, just put 10. Then it doesn't go everywhere. That's 12. It's true. So put yeah. ten. You and Greg, you and Greg, you eat watermelon. Hey, that's ten. This cart's smaller though, dude, so you're not going to be able to fit ten on this one. Maybe. Yeah. Yeah, tiny compared. That's true. I have a cart though. Okay, well, so we'll put twelve back. on there and so okay. put two more on the top. Yeah. Two. Okay. <laughs> Why are you guys Eight. standing and I'm loading? Ten, it's so hard, right? <laughs> Where am I putting this now? Wait here. And then That's move that back. Move. There you go. Whoever packaged this must have really right known what they were doing. This is what we got going on. Mold and mildew spray under the house. Um, it's just spraying the hole underneath of the house. And then we're going to put the insulation in. But it's gnarly under there, boys. 
I'm not even going to bring the camera under right this minute because it's, it's too heavy. Too heavy. All right, we're over here at the Ocean City place looking to get some more mold stuff. I thought I had a couple gallons here from a job that I cleaned out and I just kept it because I knew that it was keep life. But now I'm not seeing it. Maybe I poured it out, which would be so dumb. But it's possible I did. These shoes are cool. I guess I did. They're moldy? No, they're fine. They were really nice when I got them. They were brand new? Yeah. Where'd you get them from? From Heritage. You, Heritage and Margate used to sell Nikes. So one gallon I have. So that's $33 saved just from keeping that from a house. This shit's expensive, honestly. What about down there? What's that stuff? This one. It's bilge cleaner for a boat. I don't even know if that's... This is the kind of shit I'm talking about for the flea market, though. Like, all this stuff that, like, wouldn't be useful for us. Because look at all these packs. Of like stained glass. Alright, so my dad grabbed me a sprayer for the mold spray, but I don't know. He's, I thought he said he left it here, but I don't see it, so I'm just gonna just take this thing down for now until he comes back. So I'll just rip this thing apart because that's got to get out of here anyway. But, um,. That's the claim right this minute. This shit's like all down here like by nothing. So legitimately I'm just gonna pull it off of here. So I found this Keep Life bench at a job. Pretty much all that's matter with it is this is just disconnected and there's no bolts, but I think I can use these ones that I found too to connect it. So I'm gonna try to do that right now. So it actually turned out to be a bolt like this that screws into both sides. So I think I need to get this from the hardware store. All right, so all they had was this big bolt here, so I'm going to cut it in half and use both halves for the bench. Tighter. Just can't even hold it any tighter. This is just This is working out pretty good. We spent five dollars and fifty cents, so that's what it costs to have this pretty much in our yard, which isn't a bad price, I don't think. All those at the bus. Yo, what's up? Here's the deal. You need a bucket? Yeah. I'll go get it. And, uh, that's the mold specialist with all his foam. 
They don't suck the fan down. I'm not a mold specialist, dude. <laughs> <laughs> the, the mold factory down there. Well, you should have crawled underneath the house. I did. When? When? What do you mean? It's when? No. When you wanted normal. to buy it, dude. The phone's normal. It says. Phone. What's going on here, Papa? Even though I get, <laughs> can't get it actually cross me. This guy's professional. Well, there's people down there. Okay. Don't be spraying it. Oh, that's gonna really do it, actually. Because it'll cover a large area. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I'll hold the thing and... and I'll hold the light for you guys. I'll hold the thing and pump it. Spray light, dude. Yeah, we sprayed most of the whole thing. Okay, so then what are you doing to me? I thought we were respraying what we did already. No! You have to finish what you didn't do. Here, you got this. Come on. Fucking... Yeah, see, that's the ticket, dude. I knew that was the ticket. Are you filming a little bit? Yeah. I forget, dude. I did these. You can overdo them because it doesn't matter. But I did. Are you guys good with that dirt? Yeah. You need me no, to hold that or not? No. This thing's way faster, dude. That is taking the shit off. Like, you can see it falling down. Yeah, but we needed to reassess. That's this what we... This not holding anything. Honestly, we should... Huh? Can I just start? Where was it? Just hold the light. You can yeah. stop coming. Alright. <laughs> We're here in Ocean City. We're about to load up a bunch of stuff for the flea market that we got going tomorrow. We're uh, doing the Columbus flea market again because there's a lot of foot traffic there. And we have another full load of stuff as good or I, I think better but we're gonna see I just saw a Red Bull mini cooler thing I don't even know if it's a fridge it's like looks like it's shaped like a Red Bull bottle in the trash so we're about to check it out and see what's going on with it maybe plug it in over when we're picking up the gear in Ocean City for the flea market and see if it works um, if not, we could always just scrap it later. But first, we got to check it out and see if it's even legit. Here's the Red Bull fridge. Someone cut the cord, probably for scrap purposes. But uh, the top's gone on it. It's still kind of cool. It's still metal. Scrap life, I guess. Here we are at the OC spot. Uh, we're about to load up for the flea market tomorrow. So we got a lot of good stuff in here. Um, let's see how we're going to get in here. Alright, so we got these two pieces here. This whole thing in tools, honestly. We got all this stuff, all these boxes. Not the greatest stuff ever, but. I'm just gonna bring these boxes and see what happens. Condense them, maybe. All right, so we got all these tools. Load up more shit in here. This shit all has to be condensed. All right, so we got all this stuff. These little like boating stuff and hooks, little like hangers, door hinges, and old everything, just crazy stuff. This is an old like stamp book, death benefit fund. I don't know what it is, but it's cool. Iron Workers Atlantic City Guide. It's pretty cool. There's a lot of cool stuff in here. This wooden thing. This anchor might sell for a few dollars. Better than scrap prices. Uh, this little knob here, it's kind of cool. You just can't get some of this stuff anymore. This thing, I don't even know. This stained glass. Like. 
this heater, old school heater. All right, we're almost loaded up here for what we're bringing from Ocean City. So we got about most of the car filled up here and we got a lot of items at the house too that we need to load. So we're gonna be filled up to the brim for this one. Um, a lot of it good items. I think we'll do well if a lot of people show up. So only time will tell, really. What is this thing? Oh, this thing's sick too. These, these are keep life for my for our house though this piece and these three items that I got that I scored these two and this guy are items that I wouldn't sell that I'm gonna keep very cool all right we're back at the house now we just went on an insane quest to find uh, hot hands hand warmers and we ended up finding them but uh Sammy wanted them for the flea market tomorrow because their hands were freezing cold last time. Which is reasonable. I can see why. But uh, here we are in the keep life room. And I got a bunch of stuff we can load up for the flea market. Hopefully I can fit a lot of this stuff because we're almost maxed out, honestly, in there. But I'm going to just put some good items in here. Some bigger, more price, price better items. Hopefully I can get like 25 30 for this. Maybe I could get more. I'm just trying to move it though. All right, we got this money from Mike Payne out of New Jersey for the hats. <laughs> Nothing <laughs> matters. But uh, if you guys want a hat and you don't feel like using electronic payment, you can send the money and I'll send out the hat. It's um, for the dream. So. Totally legendary, boys. Uh, what do you say? Dude, thanks. Here's a little more for the dream. Mike. All right, I just wanted to show you guys how stacked up we are in here for tomorrow's flea market. So we're ready to hit it. Um, pretty much filled to the max. I might put a few more items in. Not sure yet, but we got some goodies for sure. So it should be a good day tomorrow. And for all of the all of you guys who like the flea market videos, it's a treat, and it's a treat for me to do because I love it. So the dream continues. All right, here we are back at the house ready for sleeping. Um, we got the flea market real early, uh, 4 a.m. We had to wake up around 4.15 probably, to be honest. But uh, we got to get there by like 6, 6.30, and it's an hour and 10 minutes. Plus, we want to get our Wawa coffee, obviously, on the way. <clears throat> and I might load a few more things in the morning if I have time. But uh, today I was thinking, this is just some thoughts I had you know how fortunate my life has been and why why me to have such a great life and a great family and just a great up, upbringing and I guess just be fortunate for what you have because I was thinking like what determines someone's plot in life from the beginning like why did my soul enter into a body that had such a good childhood and such a good life so far when someone like the dude that was helping us yesterday we found out they were calling him buddy it's like a 30 27 25 to 30 year old black dude and why is his lot in life so much different than mine but we literally live six miles away or something crazy and i don't know i was just thinking like even out of all the stresses and all the you know roadblocks in my life i get to sleep in this house in this bed with my cat and my beautiful girlfriend hopefully soon to be wife and he has to sleep in an empty house, you know, on the floor of an asbestos-filled moldy house. I don't know. Just, you got to think about how grateful you should be about your life, I guess. I kind of got really sad thinking about, you know, how much suffering there is in the world. And I'm really happy that instead of treating that guy like shit yesterday, I gave him an opportunity to make a few honest dollars. And in the end, he was really happy about it. He probably spent it on alcohol. But... It doesn't matter. He can use the money however he wants. I guess the point that I'm trying to make is if you can 
in any way, shape, or form, no matter the magnitude of it, to try and better the world in your own way, do it and take the opportunity to do it because you never know if you're going to be in that position and need help one day. And you never also know, you know, what one small good deed could do to change someone's day or life and then them turn around and do something good for someone else because, you know, the trickle effect kind of like if you throw a stone in, in a pond and the ripples go out, it's kind of the same idea. So everyone has, everyone has an, the opportunity to make the world a better place in their own way. So I encourage everyone to try and do it. But, um, yeah, I'm getting excited for this flea market. Loved it last time. Hopefully we have a good day tomorrow. So I'll see all you guys in the morning. Uh, for some more claims and for another great day, you know, another gift. You peace out, everyone. What's the claim, Sammy? Good night. <laughs> you got your Chuck Barron shirt. Yeah. For the dream. For the dream. <laughs> What's your claim, Arlo? Sleeping. Oh, really? As usual. That's it. All right, well, peace, everyone, and I hope you have the great rest of your day or night. Well, I don't know when you're watching this, but uh, just keep pushing and stay blessed for the dream. <laughs>